This is Math 141. We are doing section 11.3, uh, hyperbolas. And um, for hyperbolas, I'm going to start with that same locus of points, collection of points definition, as I did with um, circles and uh, parabolas and ellipses. So, this hyperbola definition looks a lot like the ellipse definition, with one exception. Uh, it's the difference, not the sum of the of the distances. And those two fixed points, just as you would guess, are the, the foci. Uh, each one of them is a focus. Foci is the plural. So uh, it's a constant. So what that means is I have I have two fixed points. And if I have some point on the on the uh, hyperbola, and then I have this distance and this distance, that distance, uh, d2 minus d1, or d1 minus 2, the, the, diff the difference between them, whatever, is, uh, is a constant, is always the same, the same number. So it feels, that feels a lot like an uh, ellipse, but it's subtraction instead of addition. So that actually gives us some ideas to, to kind of play with here. So I'm going to Start with uh, just an ellipse, something like x squared uh, divided by 9 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. So there's my ellipse. And notice that that is them. Um, I have a constant sum between the two foci. Well, I think what I'm going to do... is mix it up a little bit. So instead of adding, I'm going to subtract and let's see what happens. And in a sense that the center of that um, ellipse has kind of been torn out into pieces and this one goes way out to infinity and this one goes out way to infinity in this direction. It's kind of like that ellipse has kind of been turned like inside out in a sense. And notice in this case, the, uh, when I go x squared minus y squared, it goes in the x direction. If I were to uh, if I were to change that, if I were to, instead to say subtract the x squared instead of the instead of the y squared piece, then it would be going in the in the y direction. So these are what hyperbolas look like, and they're really just ellipses torn inside out, either in an up down direction or a left right direction. So that actually helps me think about, um, so like for an ellipse, I had a general equation, uh, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. And I also uh, knew then that my, um, my c squared is, is my bigger one minus my smaller one, right? That's that's my ellipse. So if a hyperbola is just that inside out, it's really basically the same relationship, but my addition subtractions are switched. So instead of adding, I'll subtract. And my c squared, instead of being a squared minus b squared, it's, it's the opposite, a squared plus b squared. So, uh, and we saw on Desmos that if it's x squared minus y squared, that'll be a hyperbola that's going left, right in the x direction. And if it's flipped, if y squared is the positive piece and x squared is the negative piece, it's still true that the distance to the foci is a squared plus b squared. That's going to go this way. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw this a little bit, a little bit better to get at the pieces here. So for that hyperbola, for this case right here, I have a center at zero zero. I have this offset in the x direction of a. So this distance here is a. My foci are actually outside. So the hyperbola wraps around the foci like that. Which makes sense because you have to subtract those distances um, for the constant part. 
So this distance here is C. And then um, we have some B issue. Well, let me, let me over here for this one, my center is at 0, 0. Since it's y squared minus a squared, that b offset is going to go to my vertices. Each of these is a vertex. The hyperbola wraps around the focus. So this distance is c. And now I want to think about where the, where the b shows up in this and where the a shows up in this. And here's what I'm going to do for that. Just going to start graphing them so we can we can think about it. So I'm going to say uh, x squared over nine minus uh, y squared over sixteen equals one. So I know that this is three squared, this is four squared. So that part's all good. Centers at zero zero, and then um, it's x squared minus y squared, so it's going to go this direction. So it'll be one two three in this direction, one two three in this direction. So there's there's my vertices. One of them's at negative three zero, right? Just subtract three from the x part, add three to the x part of the center, three zero. My um, c squared is a squared plus b squared, right? It's opposite operator from in there. So three squared is uh, a squared is nine, b squared is sixteen. So in this case, c squared equals twenty five. So c is five. So the foci then will be that direction it wraps around it one two three four five negative five zero and five zero there are my foci now the way that i can sketch this is i can take advantage of knowing this uh, in this case this is b value four squared so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw my box like i would encourage you to do with ellipses so one two three four one two three four now these aren't vertices these aren't really shapes um, and those aren't really points on the hyperbola is what I'm trying to say. But they frame the hyperbola because this box, notice if that was plus, there'd just be an ellipse on the inside here. But it's not; it's minus. So I actually have hyperbolas going out. The nice thing about sketching the box is it actually gives me, if I go corner to corner and just draw that, and if I go corner to corner like this, these are actually asymptotes for the hyperbola. This frames it. So I'm going to draw it. So it comes out like this, and it gets closer and closer to that line and never touches it. And that happens here too. Closer and closer to that line and never touches it. So there is a sketch of my hyperbola. Uh, notice that I got the foci by a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Center 0, 0. I've got my offset of 3 in the x direction. I've got my offset of four in the y direction, which helps me frame it, and then I can draw it, draw it accurately. All right, I want to do, I want to do another one of these. And here it is: uh, y squared minus x squared equals one, and then I have these values. So it looks like this is a six squared, and this is a two squared. So I can draw my box uh, right away. So zero zero is my center, and in the y direction, it's six. So six and six. In the x direction, it's two. And I also notice that this is um, y squared minus x squared. So it's going to be going up and down like that. So here's one of my vert vertices right here at zero, six. My other vertex is here, zero, negative six. Loop. And, and let me frame this thing. So through the center, corner, center, corner. So something like that. It should be a straight line. Kind of tricky for me. And let me figure out where the focus is at. I know that C squared is A squared plus B squared. Right? It's the opposite of what's going on in the equation. So uh, 36 plus 4 is 40. So C is the square root of 40, which is uh, is 2 root 10. 
And if I want to know about where that is, well, 36 squared, uh, 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, so it's 6 point something. So it might be about here. And I can just write this as 0 to root 10. And 0, negative 2 root 10. And then now I have to sketch the actual shape. And I know that it's hyperbola, so. It's going to be here doing this, framed in there. And this one is going to be in here doing this through that vertex. And there I have my sketch of it. I remember these dotted lines are not part of the actual shape. I, I just draw that so I can get those asymptotes in there and get a decent sketch of it. Let's do a couple more examples. Um, if I have an equation that says 9x squared minus 16y squared equals 144. Well, here's what I notice. Uh, first off, both x and y are squared. So it's probably an ellipse or a hyperbola. I've got some opposite signs here, so it's probably a hyperbola. Let me get it equal to 1, see what I can do. So I'm going to divide everything by 144. And I think that 16 times 9 is 144. I think that's going to cancel out really well for me. Yep. So this would be x squared over 16 uh, minus, not equals. This would be y squared over 9 equals 1. And then I've got everything to sketch. This is a 4 squared. This is a 3 squared. So it would be 4 in the x direction. So this would be the point 4, 0. This would be the point negative 4, 0. My center is at 0, 0. 3 in the y direction. Make them a box. with my asymptotes. I know that c squared is a squared plus b squared. So c squared would be 16 plus 9, which is 25. So c is 5. This feels a little familiar. Uh, 5, 0, negative 5, 0 for my foci. And then I can just sketch it in there getting close to those asymptotes and going through that vertex. How about if I had uh, x squared minus 9y squared plus 9 equals 0. Well, x and y are both squared. Gives me a hint. Uh, it's an ellipse or hyperbola. Opposite signs, so probably hyperbola. So let me fix this thing up a little bit. Subtract uh, 9 from both sides. I'm really trying to get it equal to 1. Like that's that's the key for my formulas. So x squared equal uh, minus 9y squared is negative 9. Divide everything by negative 9. So I've got x squared, negative x squared over 9 plus y squared over 1 equals 1. So basically I have y squared over 1 minus x squared over 9 equals 1. And then I can sketch everything from there. It's a y squared, so it's going to go up and down. Offset of 3 in the x direction, offset of 1 in the y direction. And I know that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So 9 plus 1 is 10. So my distance to my foci would be square root of 10. All right. So in the work, I'm going to ask you to sketch some. I'm also going to ask you to deal with some problems where I make, maybe I'll tell you where the vertices are, are at, like the vertices are at 0 and plus or minus 5, right? That's these points, vertices. And I'll tell you where the foci are at, 0 plus or minus 7. And then I'll ask you to get to the um, formula from there. You can do it, right? Because we have three pieces, uh, we have a couple pieces of interplay here. One of them is, what is that value? What is that value? And what is the relationship between them to C? That gets us there. Um, from there, we have enough information to write an equation from here. All right. Hey, send me any questions that you have. Uh, post them or message me.